What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Mr. Kango Zombie back with a new series. And this time it's going to be Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy. We are playing this on actually the PS4, not the PS2 or the PS3 version. This is going to be the PS4 version of the game. And uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing the whole entire series, uh, Jack 1, 2, 3, and maybe Jack X. Not sure yet. But uh, I figured since the Spyro Trilogy got announced today that I kind of wanted to play a platformer on the channel. So I figured, well, you know what? I love Jack and Dexter as well, so might as well go ahead and try that one out. Um, I, I haven't even played it at all on the PS4 yet, so this is brand new. We're going to see how it plays, how it looks, and how it feels. I've heard that this one actually has a lot less glitches than the PS3 version, which I did play. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save right here. And here we go. Hoping the game is not too loud. Searching for the answers that my father and my I'm father's down father's a little bit. Find. Who were the precursors? There you go. Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? Mm. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks. But the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around at the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark goo and eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Okie dokie, so Geyser Rock, here we come. The tutorial level of Jack and Dexter. Okay, so we'll probably get a whole bunch of info from them about what to do. I haven't played this game in about, shoot, maybe six or seven years. And whenever the, the PS3 version uh, got released was the last time I played a Jack and Dexter game. So I still got, I got to remember everything. Um, if you played the other Jack games but never played this one, this one's a lot more uh, colorful and not as dark I guess and Jack is actually a silent protagonist instead of a voiced I'm gonna try to go for the 100% which is pretty much just do everything and collect everything um, but we'll see what happens controls are a bit slidey but I'm sure I'll get used to it in time I think there's 102 power cells and I think if you collect all of them there is a secret ending maybe I can't remember exactly I'm pretty sure there's a secret ending so we're gonna get this one it saves every single time you collect one so that's nice and I think what's in those boxes are scout flies what does it say when the following icon appears yeah okay save pretty much Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. So these are scout flies. And I'm pretty sure if we get all of them in each area, we get a power cell in return. Was there something? Let me jump back up here. Was there something up above? Oh, it's just a leaf. I thought it was something else. Yep, there's a power cell. Nice. <laughs> this one's story is pretty simple. And even 
activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there are certain little, uh, like, vaults that you have to unlock with the blue eco. So you have to, like, run towards the vault quickly to unlock them. Can we... There we go. The controls are a bit weird, honestly. Going back to it. I actually don't know what it's doing when I'm picking up I'm picking up green ego too and it keeps like making my character jump. I don't know if that's like I know it's not an extra life. It's got to be something else. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. All right, so we need blue eco in order to open the door and I'm pretty sure this is like a blue eco geyser over here. That's a blue eco vent. Or vent. More than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Okay. Make sure we run through here. Nice. And a power cell. Wait, no, power cell. I can I jump back up there? Yeah, okay. The camera's a bit weird. I just gotta get used to everything. Well, there's our first trophy, open sesame. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything, so I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure like 95% of things that you're gonna be looking for are gonna be like right in your path. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss any little precursor eggs, because I don't want to have to go back and get them later. Let's see. I think we're good. Isn't there a double jump? Yeah. There we go. Um, I wonder, I wonder if there's anything over inside there. Let's check. Oh, no, we can't even get over there. Okay. It was worth checking or trying to. It's good. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. What do you mean increase my health? I think you can take up to three hits in this game. And I don't think it matters. Like, I don't think it goes up to like four hits if you collect five. I think it's just saying that's the way to refill it if you lose it. If you lose any health. I think so. Did I get every single egg so far? I think so. I hope so. It's probably a way to check. Let me press start real quick. Okay, so I have 44 eggs and all four of the power cells. And there's probably 50 eggs. So, I'm missing six. Which are they're probably down here. Maybe, hopefully. Where did I miss six eggs? Yeah, I missed six. Where are they? Oh no. It's already started. The backtracking. I know for a fact I've missed six, so I gotta go search for them. And I'm taking you guys with me. Great. You found all of the power cells on the island. Yes, I have, but not all the eggs. It's not that it's not gonna be that way. It's probably down it's down there, I can see it. Nice. Okay. There we go. And that should be a hundred percent for Geyser Rock. It feels like sometimes it's not letting me double jump and other times it is. Maybe you can only double jump at the top of your jump? Yeah, that's probably what it is. I 
think that's 100%. Let's make sure real quick. We got four power cells, 50 eggs, and seven scout flies. Yep, we're good. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Alright, so that's exactly what we're going to do next episode. We're going to go to the beach, probably, and do that section next. Until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Jack and Dexter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like button and subscribe. And hit the bell after you subscribe so you're notified of the videos that are going to be going up and being posted. Until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.